All right, guys, so spooky season is unfortunately over. That said, that does bring a whole new exciting season ahead of us. That is the Christmas and holiday season. Tonight, we'll be attending one of the first of many holiday season activities this year, and that's gonna be Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland. I'm actually really excited because I've never been to this event before, and we're actually going on opening night. This is actually a fairly new event for Canada's Wonderland, and I think it makes perfect sense. You have this park, you have all this space that just gets closed in the winter, so why not take advantage of the space and use it? There's tons of activities and things to see. You can go ice skating, you can decorate cookies, you can shop in the stores, look at all the Christmas decorations, and yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be a great night, I think. Tickets typically start at about $45 at the door, but if you buy them online in advance, they're about $35. They're a little bit cheaper for seniors and I guess they call them juniors, so the youngins. I think they're about 20 bucks. We actually happened to stumble upon a holiday sale that they were doing, so our tickets were only $20. So double check and do some Googling to see if that deal is still going on because I'm not sure by the time I post this video and everything, it might be done. So do some searching around and see if you can find some good deals because there still might be out there. Now, if you're familiar with Wonderland or even if you're not familiar with Wonderland, this is a predominantly outdoor type place to go. I mean, Wonderland has all kinds of rides and, and things like that to do. So you gotta think you are gonna be outside. So dress appropriately, wear a jacket, wear a hat, wear gloves, things like that, because you are gonna be outside. I did see they do have warming stations and things like that, but uh, still you wanna keep it safe and dress appropriately. Now, although Wonderland is known for their rides, I know that a good portion of the rides are going to be closed. There are going to be a few small things open, like the carousels and some of the kiddie rides might still be open. But for the most part, the rides are going to be closed for the season. But there's still plenty more to do. Like I said, you can go ice skating. There's a tree lighting ceremony. And my favorite, there's tons to eat and to drink. So let's go check it out. But before I go, a reminder, make sure you stay to the very end because that's where I give you guys my final thoughts and kind of give you a whole review of my experience and maybe even give you guys some tips on how to save money or things to you know, keep an eye out for. And make sure you're subscribed because I have a lot more content coming your way. We're going to be checking out the Toronto Christmas market as well as some other events as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see all those events. And it really does help me out at the end of the day. I really am trying to grow the channel, trying to get to the next landmark, which is 5,000 subscribers. So I would really, really appreciate if you guys would subscribe and uh, also leave me some comments, give me a like, you know, the usual. Anyway, let's go to Winterfest. just here like two months ago not even for Halloween haunt I'm not gonna lie this is beautiful <laughs> like I can't get over all of the lights and, and everything it just it's it, it's amazing it's gorgeous more to come this is awesome so they do have skating right there your boy's not gonna get on the ice though because he's about as graceful as Bambi, so uh, I don't need that for the professional, but there is the option to do that. Ciders. So these are snickerdoodle, regular, and you can walk around. All of one way. Apple strudel cider. Sorry, apple strudel. So we got snickerdoodle and apple strudel. And they're spiked, and you can walk around all of one way with them. So it's pretty good. There's not too many rides going, but this ride actually is going a bit. Honestly, it's so cold right now. I, the last thing I want to do is like sit on that ride. <laughs> but people are doing it, so good for them. So they do have warm-up stations, which honestly right now probably is necessary because it is freezing. <laughs> My hands are so cold. I wish it weren't closed. I left them in the car. Stupid.
those absolutely fit her head right now. Do they not? Like, do they not? And her name's Kat. Like, how perfect are they? <laughs> Tell her to buy them. Tell her to buy them. We're gonna shoot some ghosts. This is honestly not going very well. Not going very well at all. So we just wrote letters to Santa in there. Mine started out with Dear Sam, when you first left, Ron made out with two girls. I got the impossible shepherd's pie with mac and cheese. And what's the cranberry? These are all $20 each, plus tax. All right, so the food, we got a three out of six. It was a two. <laughs> like a two and a half. Two and a half, so we've got a few different verdicts here, but all in all, not great. I didn't think it was too bad, like I'm not full, but I'm good. Would have been better if it was warmer. It was cold yeah, the food cold. was, yeah, the food was definitely cold. There's a fan going on up there for, I don't know why, it's literally like minus a million outside right now, so. Anyway, maybe avoid it. Maybe find something else, I don't know. Pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. found a place that had peanut butter, whiskey, hot chocolate, but it's closed. So I'm actually gutted because that sounded delicious and I'm freezing, so I need a hot drink, so. We got some cookies. Honestly, pleasantly surprised by tonight's event. It was really, really good. Um, yeah, really exceed my expectations. Stay tuned though, I'm gonna do my final thoughts shortly, so stay tuned to the very end. Alright guys, that is a wrap for Winterfest this year. This was my first time going and honestly was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I don't really have that much more to add because I kind of said everything I need to say throughout our experience there. I was trying to keep you guys sort of 
updated in the loop and everything so i don't really have too much more to add um one thing i didn't mention was they do have actors sort of throughout the park or the grounds i guess and they did a great job of keeping in character one in particular was like a sparkle queen or princess or whatever. she was a queen in my books anyway she was great she really kept in character she remembered us on the way when we were sorry on the way in she sort of gave us a few little tips of places to check out on the way out, she remembered us and you know made sure to talk to us and uh, you know asked us how it was. Everything really, really stayed in character. She was she was awesome. Definitely kudos to her. Um, food was just okay. Drinks were okay, but they just they stopped selling them around half an hour or so before closing. So just be forewarned. Get your drinks in before then. Otherwise, oh, and one thing I did uh, mention in the beginning of the video about the $20 tickets. So I did a little bit of checking, and those are done now. So apparently, to get the $20 tickets, you need to get them before the the opening night basically you can even get them same day still but uh it has to be before i think four o'clock so unfortunately that ship has sailed so i believe it's 35 dollars online or 45 at the door um juniors and seniors are a little bit less of course if you are planning on driving parking was 25 dollars, which a little steep but it's probably cheaper than cabbing or ubering or whatever depending on where you're coming from anyway make sure you dress weather appropriately because honestly it was really, really cold. I mean, I was wearing a Canada goose and everything, and my face was really cold. I would, yeah, wear, keep an eye on the weather, keep an eye on the snow, rain, this, that, and the other, because it is basically just an outdoor event with a couple little warming stations things, and things like that. But for the most part, you are gonna be outside for however long you're gonna be there for. So make sure you dress appropriate to the weather. Keep an eye on the weather. If there's anything I have missed and you guys have any more like questions or, or anything like that, I wanna know anything else, please be sure just to leave them in the comments. I always do my best to respond to everybody who you know leaves me some feedback or comments or questions, things like that. So please be sure to leave me some uh, some questions if you have any. Um, if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe. It really does help me out. I'm really trying to grow my channel and get to 5,000 subscribers. I know that's uh, quite a feat from where I am right now, but that is the next goal. So I would really appreciate it. Uh, you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share with your friends if they're thinking of going to Winterfest or looking for sort of activities in and around the GTA. Um, otherwise, this has been Daniel in Brooklyn with Spotlight, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Sorry, Harlem felt left out as well. So this has also been Harlem with Spotlight. So, my buddy, and we'll see you in the next one.